Harish Bali from Technofair.com. We all use Bluetooth to transfer files from one device to another, but the problem of Bluetooth lies in its speed. I use Shareit to transfer files from one Android device to another, and the beauty of this app lies in two things: a speed. It works 40 times faster than Bluetooth. B range. Even if two devices are 40 feet away from each other, you can easily transfer files from one device to another using Shareit. Let me now head over to my device to demonstrate this thing. For ease of this tutorial, I have connected both my Android device with this system and I have already installed Shareit app on my Android device. So you can do that by going to Play Store and install Shareit. Once you install the app, it will ask you to create a username which is required for offline purpose so that the device is recognized. Let me now open share it on both the devices. Before I proceed, I would like to close the mobile data, Wi-Fi and hotspot on both the devices. If I wish to transfer some files from this first device to the second device, I will need to tap on send and on the receiving device, I will need to tap on receive and send here. Select the app or photos that you want to share. So I am sharing few photographs. This is one, this is second and this is the third one that I am sharing and fourth. Then tap on send. So this is the other device which has already been identified. Tap on the device and here are the pics on the second device. So that is how fast it was to move pics from one device to another without internet, without mobile data and without Wi-Fi hotspot. So what has happened during this complete process is, let's check. This is the sender device. I'm going to settings. Did you notice that this Wi-Fi is already switched on means it got switched on when we tried moving files from one device to another. This was the sender device and this is the receiver device. Let me go to the settings. Let's check the hotspot. It has got turned on. If you want to transfer app or a video or some of the other heavy files, you can do that as well. For that, let me open the home screen of the app. So what you can do is instead of selecting photos, you can select music or scroll and select videos from the top. And then rest of the process remains same. Using this process, I have successfully transferred movies of up to one GB size from one Android device to another and it has taken about 4 minutes to do the same. Back to the home screen. Let's explore this Me tab. Transfer history. Here you can view the transfer data history of the ShareIt app. You can also clear the history by tapping on the brush icon on the top. Clear. While it clears the history but it continues to show the transfer history in terms of MBs or GBs that has already been done on this particular device. You can see the updates here in the messages. Let's go to settings. You can easily change the storage location for the receiving data. So currently it's set to internal storage. You can move it to SD card as well. So any receiving file will automatically get stored into SD card. Okay. Clean cache from here. Then confirm before connection. This will give you a pop-up before getting connected with your friend. This is for the receiver device. Mobile network protect will prevent other people from using your network traffic during data transmission as while receiving the data hotspot of the receiving device automatically turns on. If you turn this feature on prefer Wi-Fi mode, it will automatically disable the hotspot and your Wi-Fi will automatically get on. For this, you will require an active Wi-Fi connection to receive data. 
my Wi-Fi works up to 60 feet from the location of the router. So what this means is if I switch it on, I can transfer data from one device to another up to 60 feet. These three setting options are quite obvious. Display hidden files, get the latest updates and user transfer experience improvement program. So I'm moving on to Wi-Fi Direct. To use this feature, your device must support Wi-Fi Direct. If you enable this, Wi-Fi of your device will turn on and you can use Wi-Fi Direct to transfer files from one device to another. For a better experience on transfer speed, you can enable this option of faster transferring and experience a much higher transfer speed. Back to the home screen. If you wish to share this app with another device, you can do that by tapping on this plus icon on the top left and then do that using either hotspot or Bluetooth. I see people asking few questions on the forums with regard to share it like if I move a file of 1 GB from one device to another using a Wi-Fi router, will it consume my 1 GB data? Answer to that is no. It simply uses your Wi-Fi radio. It doesn't use any network charges. Another question that I see is, is it compulsory for both the devices to be on the same Wi-Fi? Answer to that is absolutely not. Share it allows devices to connect wirelessly directly so that there is no need of any cable, Bluetooth or active Wi-Fi connection to share anything across devices. Another question that I see on the forums is how many images or files I can transfer in one go from one device to another. Answer to that is there is no limit on that. You can do as many as you want. Also, you can connect up to five devices simultaneously in a group. That was all about transferring files from one Android device to another. If you found this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.